everyone welcome back to another video this is code forces round 853 and the problem is serval and inversion magic let's quickly see what the problem states so they are telling that you will be given a binary array that is 1001 uh, so it's generally like a string and the array elements consists only of zeros or one and uh, they are telling that you have to take two indices l and r so let's say 0 1 2 3 4 uh, L can be like 1 and R can be 3 you need to inverse that segment segment means a continuous set of uh, digits or numbers or a set of indices in an array so here we are going to change 1 and 3 here that is this is same this is same we need to inverse this that is 1 0 1 after converting this they are asking that and they are calling the operation as inversion magic after doing the inversion magic exactly once we need to report that whether the resultant is a palindrome or not if it's a palindrome you have to print yes if it's not a palindrome you have to print no so that's the solution like that's the question uh, what did they ask they will give you a binary array after giving you a binary array or string you have to choose two indices that is l or r l is the start of subsegment and r is the end of subsegment choose the subsegment inverse that array that is 1 means 0 and 0 means 1 then check that whether that number is a palindrome or not so let's understand this with the help of an example so they gave this that is 1001 if it's 1001 it is already a palindrome so you can take l as 0 and r as uh, 3 the last index then you can just say you flip everything that is 0, 1, 1, 0. it is already a palindrome we don't have to worry about it and one important thing is how do you check whether a number is palindrome or not you just check the start number and end number and second uh, number and the last second number and so on you check the extreme sides you check second and last second third and last third like that it means like when you read from left and when you read from right both the numbers are same that's what is called as palindrome and here they gave one more uh, string like 10010 so we'll do our tradition we'll just write all the indices our task is to choose two indices that is l and r since they already explained in the question i'll just say what is the solution here l we can take as uh, zeroth index and r we can take as uh, what can we take we can take first index so i am taking this subsegment l and r so if we flip this what do we get zero 1 0 1 0 is same now is this a palindrome this and this is same this and this is same this and this is same so this is a palindrome so that's why they printed yes but there is one more solution here that is l equal to 3 also you can take r equal to 4 also you can take if l equal to 3 this will be 0 and r equal to 4 means this will be 1 and this is same right 1 0 0 now is this palindrome 1 and 1 0 and 0 and 0 so this is also a palindrome and that's why they printed yes but uh, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 is not a, uh, like after performing that inversion magic operation you can't uh, get a palindrome so that's why they print no but uh, how did we arrive at that let's uh, just try to understand like why this one worked and then we'll try to figure out why that did not work now we'll trace the same solution here that is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 so what is this 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 right and uh, we just wrote the indices here now our job is to find uh, two indices that is l and r right how do we choose it so before starting it since i already told you earlier there are two solutions right either you start from left or you change the right values in a palindrome so for simplicity of our solution we just break here and always go from left only we are changing only in the left we are not changing anything in the right since they told only one subsegment we are uh, changing only in the left subsegment okay now we'll start from the extreme edge we are checking whether it's a palindrome or not one and zero this is indices and this is the array one and zero is this a same it's not same right so definitely either this one or this one we need to change so for simplicity we are taking we are assuming that the first one we need to change we are just tracking the index okay zero is the starting subsequent where i need to change i wrote it now one one came this zero in the worst index zero is there third index one is there this is already processed now check this this also we need to change so what we do we already got the starting index definitely we need to change at any cost we are not going to modify it we just locked it okay 
R. What is R here? R is 1. Okay. Now, we had went to the middle of the element. We are not doing anything at all. Now, let's apply the logic here. That is L equal to 0 and R equal to 1. Now, you need to flip this. That is, you have to take inverse. 1 becomes 0. 0 becomes 1. And this becomes 0. This becomes 1. This becomes 0. Now, you just run the palindrome algorithm. Check. He, this and this is same. Yes. This and this is same. Yes. This is same. Yes. It's a middle element. So, we don't have to care. It's a palindrome. Now, what if let's try to take this number 0 triple 1 0 double 1 so what is that 0 triple 1 0 double 1 now what are the index here 3 4 5 6 so since uh, we do the same procedure here what is l here l is 0 right because this and this is not same where should we split it into half here till here we need to iterate so definitely we need to change this 1 and 1 do we need to change this? We don't have to change this. We can just iterate it because it is already same and it's already parallel. I don't have to change. Now 1 and 0. Should we change this? Yes, we should change this because this is wrong, right? These are different. So now we, we need to track the index. L is already locked. It's the lower bound and R2. Okay, whatever be the change come, you just keep iterating the R. Okay, you just keep changing the R because you need to know the maximum size of subsegment. Here from this you understood that L is 0, 0th index also need to be changed and 2nd index also need to be changed. So we can't change 0 and 2 separately because we have to change as a segment. So segment means we have to change this as a whole. If you want to change this as a whole, you try to write it. 0 becomes what? 1. 1 becomes what? 0. This 1 becomes what? 0. And this are all same. Since we do not do any changes. Now check whether it's a palindrome or not. Yes, this is a palindrome. This is not a palindrome, but this is same and this is also same. And why did this change here? Because this is already same. We chose, unfortunately, this number became a part of the subsegment between those different numbers. And that's why we are bound to change this. So there is no other option here. We found the lower bound, we found the upper bound, but that segment does not include it. Suppose in the question, if they asked exactly twice or exactly thrice, you can change means you can change this segment. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can change uh, this segment alone and this segment alone so that it will be one, 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 sorry, one, one, zero and one, zero, one, one. In this case, it can be a palindrome, right? But since this also we need to change, uh, we lost the track of the solution. Now, let me quickly explain how did we code it. So this is the solution number. I'll put it in the description box as well. So initially I'm iterating through the left part that is zero to n by two and checking whether the, there are any mismatch in the numbers. If there are any mismatch in the numbers, I'm taking the first mismatch that is if L equal to minus one, I initially assigned L equal to minus one. I'm put, tracking the first index and R equal to I means what is the last index till which the change is happening. Now after getting the L and R segment, I'm just checking whether are there any mismatch or not. That is if L not equal to minus one means okay there is a number in the array that is having a mismatch if a number is having a mismatch means from the i equal to l to position and r to position i need i will inverse all the numbers in that segment that is i equal to l to r if a number is having one i'll put as zero if it is zero i'll put as one i'll change all the numbers after changing all the numbers put the same palindrome algorithm that is check first and check last check second and this if if any of the segment, if any of the number is not, is different, if it is not a palindrome, you assign the flag as one and come out of the loop. If the flag is there, then I understand that it is not a palindrome. So you print no. And if the flag is yes, that is, it did not break it here. You have to print yes. And that's all guys. Uh, if you have any doubt, please feel free to put it in the comment section. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing. And that's it. Thank you. See you in the next video.